What do you want, Norris? Uh, I'm here for the party guest list, Kenneth. It's a party celebrating the street's destruction being reversed, uh, and also for Fred's birthday. Well, it is good that everything's been restored. You can certainly include me on the do later. Careful with the buffet, though. Yes, yeah, your time bomb ass has been taken into consideration. It's all back to normal now, so lamp the cunt! <sighs> Fine, but I don't like it. Your mother's in hospital, Stephen, don't you forget it? Yeah, she missed all the fun. This place is fucked, whether it's on fire or not. Well, thanks for everything. I'm not going anywhere. What? I didn't pave the road in the services so that Quigley and his gang would piss all over it, so I didn't. And nobody runs over Elizabeth. Barrels a monkey. Yes, uh, I thought Mike was fixing this. He will for tonight. Well, Ken's coming, so see to it he does. Aye, I heard as much. Is he proposing to Bev? We could do with some cheer, Raph. I bloody hope not. I've no time for every cunt enjoying themselves. Ah, uh, you've probably got a point. I don't need telling. <laughs> I think last night was important, Kevin. You told me to fuck off! Why are we here? I've said I'll calm it down a bit. Moving to the downstairs window hardly classes as calming it, does it? I just can't go cold turkey, Sal. I'll get withdrawals. Do you want that? I do know that I don't want you window wanking full stop. If you can at least try to use it more productively and cleanly, we have to go to bed at least once a day, and you can use me face or wherever. As long as you don't open that top window, we're making progress. We just have to sort Rosie out now. You know, I, I felt very at peace when the street was burning, like it was a sign. Fucking weird. No, 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 just like a, a calming sensation, you know. I think I'd done worrying about the young fraternity. I'm ready to rekindle me younger days when there was drama and women hung around the docks. I wasn't always a dull twat. I used to swing it about from last to last. Whew, I, I were like a fire hydrant, lining them up. I might bob down the cur home later. I'm fucking done with this shit. Oh, I, I, I thought you were a right lech once. Well, I did dabble in the working class sector from some time. All below my grade. Then Ina Sharples gave me anxiety. Ever since then, I've shat for Britain and I've had no time for birds. Well, you've got Deirdre. Oh, bird she may be on paper. Uh, uh, see, you're not a young man anymore. <laughs> you've got to embrace what you are and what you can get. I, uh, Betty's saying similar. Why watch others enjoy themselves? Oh yes, there's plenty still in me, and plenty more to be in. Why have I got a bastard curfew? Because you're a slag. It isn't. You can at least come of age first. Come eat your beans. Mum, you let Sophie go out. She's a bad one too. Just eat your beans on toast and shut the fuck up. She shouldn't get any tea, ma'am. You should be on a separate table. You both are on curfews. See? It's not just you, is it? You both can't be trusted. Um, I stopped getting pissed. I stopped hanging with Jazzy's group. Oh, I forgot. You're so forgiven. Well, she lives off fucking Botox and Instagram, acts 26 and fucks around with people called Portia and Brianna. You're wrong. You don't get to tell me I'm wrong, lady. Now eat your fucking beef. You give me curfew and I'll go back to Jazz and break some windows. It's windows. So whilst you're upstairs, you can do some pronunciation lessons, you thick bitch. Now eat your twatting beans. Do you feel better now, then? I hope now you've got your trophy, you can focus on being normal. David, you actually did a good thing. Be proud. I'm not proud. You taught us a lesson. Sure up. I got me recognition and I changed it back. Not gonna change anybody, is it? Then why do you have to be such a miserable shit house even now? Oh, I'd have left it to burn, believe me. Trouble is, I won't get it up. Do you think I have time for this? No, it's a fuck off. Oh my god, what an annoying little fuck you are. I'm sick of your kind. I'm that tart, Maria. Why can't you let it go? Because I'm bitter. Oh, Sarah. Tell Maria, if you will, that a bang should cover the debt. Honestly, David, David, you need to get a life.
Are we getting chippy for tea? No, you've not earned it. You've not brought Nout back. While street were on fire, Jez weren't paying out for his lot. Hey, hey, listen, maybe he'll have forgot. Jez can back out. What? If we get Jez out of his gang quietly, he might not notice what with all that were going on, and you can give over bothering Rita, and everyone can stop hating me. This is not stopping, and won't until I've got my share of their money. I'm going to make sure that we stop by the Rovers later, and let her know she's going to be helping us get to Benidorm this year. I'm not feeding the parasitic slag. The only thing this bloody planet revolves around now is money. David should have let it burn. Oh, I do agree with you, Rita. This is all a load of the usual bollocks I'm usually ashamed to get out of bed for every morning. Sorry. One step below being a journalist is being a lawyer. So did he twat this scrot? I did. You give him a good slap round this stupid orange head and he ran like a twat into the wall. Oh, I packed him one. Excellent. I'd like to have seen that shit myself. Oh, on the way out, you can smack one of those little wankers that hangs around the main gate to show me. So, what's the point in this case at all, if I'm inclined to ask? Because this is a British justice system. And compensation's a thing in Sorry Nation Street, despite its leniency. Dad, do you eaten all the fucking custard creams? Well, they're a wee bit more, so they are. What's the plan? We sit here on a flipping steak out forever. Just couldn't get rid of the gang. Well, I well, all right, so stop your crying. Dad, they brought back Elsie Tanner. Bet Lynch didn't fancy it. Hey, well, I happen to have seen Bet, so I have. Dad, even if you have, the streets aren't safe. He recruits as young as Chesney, and the senior ones have run down me mam. What's a sledgehammer and a few old timers going to change anything? Look, I put down real hard men, not pussy like Quigley. Get him on his own and you chop down the trees. You and Jizz are pillars of the community with good intentions, but you're gonna get yourself hurt, and maybe you'll end up next to Mam, so just flipping go home. Are you sure you want to go for a drink? It's very early. Yes, I'm certain. I was going to go down to the town. It's something Betty said about seeing others in jail. Norris, you can do whatever life-changing debauchery you want, but I'm going for a sherbet or ten. Yes. Fuck's sake. Uh, I know, I, I, I just feel responsible. I, I, I sort of wish David had kept the carnage going. Uh, at least you were safe from Scylla under that rubble. It's about that now, is it? Well, that and I want to go so me oats. You've got me into this vigilante nonsense, so you can come and face the fucking music with me, can't you? Is this two foot street, or is it for my benefit? What? Don't play the thick foot with me, Baldwin. <laughs> There's a party to celebrate David calling the apocalypse off. Aye. I'm for me 60th of the year. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, I tell love. There's no need to make a fuss of me being an outcunt. Well, it's not just your birthday, is it? Oh, it's a landmark, I'll get you that. But when you have a wife that's up for pegging, <laughs> you have to scrape what joy you've left. Besides, if I leave it much longer, she's likely to start getting forceful. I say forceful. Fucking cowed out the... Ready for a showdown? I'm on one. Mm. Here goes. Scylla, just fucking leave it. Rocker and tonic, Rita, love. Flashing your money around again? Keep the change, Betty, love. I'm having it off you soon. The only thing you'll be having off me is a kick in the mouth. You seem to like being violent, don't you? My son hasn't got over the trauma of that assault. I can't even bring him in the pub anymore. Well, when this party's over, I'm going to have me own at your expense. All right. Do you like my fur coat? I've worked for it. Hard work. Some of a scrounging trollop like you who can't fathom. There's one like you in every square inch today. Fucking entitled. Entitled? I know it's three syllables, I'm sorry, but take your ancient cleavage and fuck off. Hey, what's going on? And where there's a dumpster fire, there's usually a tramp trying to get his hands warm. And I'm sure he can get both in there. Hey, fuck off. I'm on your son. Your son's cut from the same cloth. You shouldn't be allowed to breed. Fill in this country with more parasites. I'm far superior to you. Anyone can see that. Now go drink your dark fruits. You're asking for a smack now, you old... Just you fucking try it, lady. You think I crack your lad hard you've not seen out? You disgust me. Oh, I do have money and clout, since you like to bring it up. 
I'd sooner give John Lindsay me details and give it you. You'd only spend it on McDonald's, you greedy twat. I'm warning you! Oh no, no, I'm warning you! You can take your solicitors, that no win, no fee, crockload of bollocks you rely on, and you can shove them up your ample ass. Because you don't win against me, this is my street. Shit like you were only cast because a country's getting stupider. I promise you, whatever happens, you won't see a penny of my money. Not one fucking penny. Scrounging fucking louse. You old slapper, I'll fuck you. Hey, Silla, come here. That's it, go on. Take the orange cow home. Well, this dude's gonna be a right goddamn.